This book is not about perfection or being perfect. Only probable paths, traveling unhappy roads, maybe kind roads leading to the beautiful. Roads to where we are free to interpret events around us for their more pleasant meanings, preferring kind smiles and sounds of laughter to the harsher interpretations. A more childish world, if you will, as the great Fellini may put it. Stories with happy endings, living the hero's life to walk into hell for a heavenly cause like the man of La Mancha. To walk the paths of happily ever after, and joyous endings, a world where present is normal. Speaking of pleasant being normal, reminds me of the story I told my son regarding the farmer and his wife. Once upon a time, there was a farmer and his wife that lived on a farm. They had a very small house and they had a very small barn attached to it where their beloved horse lived in. And they were living a happy life. Their in-laws fell the hard times, so they moved in with them. They brought their beloved cow with them. The barn didn't have much room for both animals, so the farmer prayed that the cow dies. In the morning he wakes up, he finds his own horse dead. He looks up to God, to the divine, and says, Are you telling me that you don't know the difference between a horse and a cow? So, what happens in here is that I think it's best policy, best mode of operation, to always wish pleasant things. Here is to here and here is to now. What do you think?